What's up YouTube? Scott, Scotty Tradition, back with another video. Uh, been a couple weeks since my last video. Um, been feeling a little under the weather the last few days, but um, feeling a little bit better today. So hopefully uh, that is a short-lived thing. Um, I did have a couple pickups come in recently and wanted to share those with you. Um, first, we did uh, open up a box, my kids and I, of uh, uh, did a blaster of select football. And did a mega of optic football again. So um, here are just some of the highlights. Got the uh, Kyle Trask rookie card, yellow green uh, retail. Uh, here's a nice one. Got the uh, Mac Jones refractor die cut. Uh, these are actually numbered out of 99. So I was happy to actually pull a numbered card out of there. Uh, Elijah Mitchell, who's I believe done for the season, unfortunately. Uh, Kyle Pitts, the Falcons rookie. Michael Carter, this is the uh, Walmart exclusive blue parallel. Uh, Justin Fields, had an up and down kind of year already. Uh, Travis Etienne and Jamar Chase, base rookie. So, yeah, just a few of the highlights. Just was fun to rip something. Um, also in the mail, finally picked up one of these. I have about, you know, at least a dozen or more raw copies of this. Um, I'm sure there would have been some that have gemmed, but I just, you know, haven't had the the want to really to send them in just because of the grading cost and the fact that I just may get a 9, and that would suck. I, I didn't want to do that, so. Um, picked up the 10. Um, these have really come down in price, as apparently people think that base rookie cards have cooties for some reason, even though they've that's a particular card that's we can really say has unequivocally stood the test of time. You know, over the last hundred years of the hobby, um, the rookie cards tend to to always hold value, even base rookies. So, um, but just lately, um, with the overproduction um, and things like that, uh, there's been sort of a scarlet letter cast on base rookies, which I actually do not agree with. <laughs> but yeah, this was it works out great for me because that's what I want, anyways. So it's just really a cheap pickup. I can get these for around. Uh, what, $35, $40 now, where you could, in the past, a gem 10 of this is going to go, you know, 200 plus, you know, when it was at its peak. So happy to, to grab that. Even if I were to grade it myself, um, still, it, it doesn't even pay to take the risk to grade it myself. So finally got one of that of Devante. Um, he's having a decent year, not a great year. The Raiders are kind of a mess this year. They're one and three so far. And they haven't really got it going yet with him and D uh, Derek Carr, but he still is on pace for like, you know, 110 catches, 1,300 yards, and 13 touchdowns. So, um, and I do think he he wants to be great. So I think there's a decent, uh, at least a decent chance that, you know, as long as Devontae stays healthy, he could be Hall of Famer um, in the future. He's uh, one of the best in the game right now, that's for sure. So happy to finally knock out that base card. But the highlight of this video is this card here. Um, I had my eyes on this one for a long time, <laughs> a long time, excuse me. <coughs> this is the 1937 Ogden's Jesse Owens Champions of 1936, and um, by far one of the coolest cards I now own. Um, just an amazing card. Um, shows him at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, Germany. Um, I had thought about getting a higher grade copy of this card. Um, but this card's come, come, kind of come up in value a little bit. It's actually kind of coming back down a little bit now as of late, which is good for me. But this is a beautiful four. Take a look at the back there. Talks about Jesse Owens, nickname uh, the Black Panther. And all the titles he won. Just, uh, just a really cool story. My favorite story is of him and Luz Long, who uh, was a long jumper, jumper for Germany in the 36 Olympic Games. And um, he had noticed that uh, Jesse Owens kept faulting on his long jump, and he told him to move his line back a little bit, you know, and he would still do good even with that. Um, and sure enough, he did, and he ended up beating Luz Long. Uh, long got second place, but he was the first to congratulate Jesse Owens, you know, after winning that. Um, which was, you know, maybe not, it was a little risky for him to do at the time for Lowe's Long, uh, being 
all the Nazi propaganda going on in the you know mid thirties in Germany. Um, so to do that in front of Hit Hitler, um, Owens was very moved by that gesture by Lus Long, and Long actually died in uh, the battle uh, when the Allies took Sicily in World War Two. So Long passed away. Um, but Owens still talks about that moment as sort of a big moment in his life when uh, Lois Long actually helped him in that scenario. So just a great story. This card represents a lot, and I'm really happy to have it. I um, actually got this for a really good price. Um, and not only that, they actually sent the uh, entire uh, 37 Ogden set, which is pretty cool. Um, there is 50 cards in the set, so... That's the only one that's slab, but there's just some kind of neat cards in here. You got everything from cows to chow chows, uh, dogs. There's uh, the world champion passenger pigeon, uh, ships. Uh, we have golf, golf cards. Very, very cool. And here's another page. Everything from racing hounds to uh, swimmers to horses. Definitely some of the more unique items I've ever got. And they're all in really uh, decent shape, too. Some, there's some rowing there, cycling, ice skating. There's some tennis stars. And I, I'm telling you, these cards are really in great shape, too. Um, some more uh, track and field people. This guy with the sweet helmet on. Billiards, badminton. Another cool card in the set is this uh, James Braddock right there, Cinderella Man. And again, really a beautiful looking copy. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. They all seem to be in really nice shape though. Uh, even got a chess player in there. Just a quick look at some of the backs. So yeah, really cool, uh, interesting uh, to get that stuff in. Um, a unique item that I usually don't get in, but I wanted to knock this Owens card out for quite a while. And finally glad I was able to pull the trigger. Very reasonable amount, I think, and uh, presents very nicely for the grade as well. So other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um... I just completed my top uh, 100 <laughs> cards of as of like uh, October uh, 2nd. So um, it's just a matter of making a video. I've got my top 100 list ready and it uh, should be fun. There's some cards that dropped off the list, of course, and uh, we'll pay homage to them and say goodbye. And then there's some new ones added, of course, as well. So it's always a fun thing to do every year. Um, with that being said, hey, you guys, thanks for tuning in. And I hope to talk to you again real soon. Thanks for watching.